Good evening, Pepper Spinners. Today we're going to be talking about how to add instruction cards to your game, so get ready. Alright guys, so we are going to uh, learn how to add these instruction cards to the games and uh, talk about what they are. So uh, the folders that we're going to be going to are the Hyperspin folder or wherever your Rocket Launcher folder is. You're going to open up Rocket Launcher, you're going to open up Media, and then you're going to go to Bezels. Uh, instruction cards are a little different than Bezels themselves, but they uh, have the same functionality essentially. So the instruction cards are basically the move list for your characters on specific games. Uh, today we're going to be looking at uh, Street Fighter uh, Championship Edition and just looking through the instruction cards that way. So uh, we are going to go to main and you will find a host of uh, folders. These are actual bezels uh, and any files. That's not what we're after here. What we're after are zip files. And what I'll do is I'll open up those, well, one of them, for example, and so we're going to open up this Street Fighter edition. And what you're going to find is within that zip file, there is a folder and there are a number of PNG files. And that is an instruction card. So that is uh, some special moves, if you will. And these are no longer available um, on the web, at least that I'm aware of, unless someone has a mirror uh, of uh, the original artwork uh, from the artist. Uh, but it might be on the FTP, but I'm just going to upload the entire main folder uh, bezel set, as well as all of my instruction cards. And I am uh, uploading it uh, here. So I'm going to go to ME Movies, go into Official, Ninja 2B Scene Dojo, Hyperspin, Rocket Launcher, Bezel, and then Main. If you just drop that Main folder, you'll get the instruction cards as well as the Bezel set. And there's just one other thing that you've got to do to activate these instruction cards, and then you will be on the path to awesomeness. So I'm going to go to Rocket Launcher. I'm going to the Main uh, section here. And what you're going to do is go to the Settings uh, tab here. There's a tab called Instruction Cards, and you're going to just set the Instruction Cards enabled uh, set to true. Everything else is on the global settings, and what I'll do is, uh, you know, you might not have followed along with all my tutorials, so I'm going to just uh, zip to the global settings, so you can see what those global settings are for me. So I've got set to true, I've got the position, left center, right center, uh, slide in, you know, all of this is based on user preference, but you know, definitely, uh, you know, copy the work if you need to here. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and scroll down. The toggle visibility. So this is basically how you're going to activate uh, your, uh, your your instruction card. And what I've got set up is basically holding down the five key, which is select. You can see there's multiple uh, combinations here, but essentially my select key and then I'm using uh, left and or right uh, to basically determine am I going to be changing the left side or the right side and then uh, basically holding down the select button again and you know which is five for me and then pushing up or down to actually toggle through uh, that instruction card set so if I were to change the left uh, instruction card I hold select and then press left and then that would activate my left side and then I can toggle through the instruction cards by holding down select and then pressing up or down and I'll demonstrate that here in a second. Um, I can also do that with uh, the second player. Uh, basically six is my select button for uh, player two and it, it yeah it, it's basically however you want to set this thing up. You don't have to mirror my uh, my settings here but really what you want to do is you want to set up the toggle visibility which basically activates the, uh, the instruction card and then you want to basically set up 
the uh, the instruction card activation and uh, changing here. So this here is your most important part, the keys change mode two, and this activates. So that's that uh, select and then uh, left or right. And then your previous and next keys are basically your, you know, up or down and select. You can make it whatever you want, but that is what was most comfortable for me on uh, the controller. So uh, just, you know, select the uh, icon here and what you'll do is just push the plus sign and then you'll push this little camera and it will basically, you know, notify you in like three seconds you want to, you know, do your key presses. So you would, uh, you know, hold down the select button and then press the you know the arrow of your choice and then once it's captured it that uh, pop-up will disappear and you'll just hit this little disc and then you will see that combination display off to the left here and once you're done with that uh, you know you're in single mode by the way the check mark should already be there uh, you're gonna close that window out and you've got everything set up so there's really not a whole lot to it but it does add a lot of, a lot of flair uh, to the game itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up, uh, you know, main here. And we are going to display this bezel set, or should I say instruction card. So here we are, you can see the Instruction cards are already activated, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down the select button, and there you go. You saw it sort of uh, blink there. I'm also going to push the left button, and you saw it blink there. I'm going to push the right, and you see it goes to the right. So if I wanted to change the right instruction card bezel, maybe I don't want that uh, character. I'm going to hold down the uh, select button and push up. Or down you can see I can kind of go back and forth so you can see the, the instruction cards are really nice uh, if I want to move over I'm gonna hold down the select again and I'm gonna push left so now I'm messing with the uh, player one section on the left hand side and I'm gonna push up or down and once you've selected your uh, bezel you've got everything uh, set up and uh, you're ready to play if you haven't already so uh, that is the instruction card and uh, I think it's awesome. I hope you do too. And there's not a whole lot to it. So just go ahead and grab that off the Emmy Movies FTP. Again, it's under the bezel uh, folder. Just grab that whole main folder and you will have instruction cards up and running. So I hope that helps and we'll catch you next time.